So in this example, we will going to learn about stringify. I know it sounds funny, right? Stringify. It's actually a function in JSON, which allows you to take a JavaScript object and create a JSON string out of it. So we're going to be looking at how you can stringify. So we're going to be creating an object called contact of type object in Java, JavaScript. This contact will have a first name equals to Maddie. And this contact will have last name equals to Jensen. And this contact will have a couple of phone numbers. So we're going to create a phone number array. Remember, this is the shortcut notation we learn in JavaScript arrays. This is the shortest possible way of creating arrays in JavaScript. Simply list the values in square brackets. Variable member f equals to new array. <clears throat> the first element of this will going to be last name. The second element of this will going to be the phone. Now we're going to use the JSON text, which is the name of our variable. And this is where we're going to store the result of stringify. So what are we stringifying? We're taking the contact object and we're filtering it using the member f. Means only these two properties are getting filtered. What are the two properties? Last name and phone. We're not filtering, we're not selecting first name. And we're going to filter them on a tab. So now you can say document.write JSON text. You can see that only those two properties values has been pulled. So we were able to create an object in JavaScript. This is another way of creating an object in JavaScript, other than what we learned last week, that you can create an object of type object. So that's a built-in class. And then you can simply use properties and assign them values. And then you can use JSON and an array filter to filter whatever properties you want to pick.